it would be a crime if i don't talk to you about storytelling and this is a show that was built on stories as well and one thing i want to check with you is where do you think the art of storytelling has come from the original campfire ke sath baith ke regale everyone with stories to today the different mediums that exist and also a quick um your thoughts on what skills make someone a good storyteller in any form okay so see storytelling is as old as the paintings on the caves that were there right that was a storytelling people mat jana janwar kha lega agar aag jalaoge to shayad nahi aayega don't step out of your cave when it is dark right so that was the first stories are used to transmit many things morals education to entertain to engage to empathize these are all the qualities of stories and you never remember a person by anything but stories i can challenge you that if you go back and talk of any individual in your life kahin na kahin par uske bare mein koi kahani aa jati hai right so so it is rightly said that the world does not move on atoms it moves on stories and those stories keep passing through years and through legends some legends remain with us right if you read the hero with a thousand faces by joseph campbell the whole idea of great heroic storytelling which is any film from lion king to superman to star wars in fact george lucas dedicated a whole thing to him afterwards because of you know uh, the this book and this created something called the hero's journey uh, which are classic ways of telling stories and from the odysseus you know to our ved purans all of them to the dastane amir hamza to beowulf these are all classic hero's journeys so a there is a there is a form and a structure to great storytelling which many people don't know some people are just naturally good raconteurs they they tell good stories to tell good stories you can be interesting but before being interesting you have to be interested be a sponge absorb everything absorb this place absorb the scenery listen to the sounds pay attention to the words because this becomes the tools that you can use this is the foliage of the tree lekin pehle tree ko ek structure chahiye wo structure was simple hota hai a story has three parts a beginning middle and end or it has a protagonist an obstacle and a goal or it has a conflict a setup a conflict and a resolution these are the basics i'm telling you in in a, i'm trying to do a one minute crash course in storytelling for you but if you have these right you will have a good story start by just talking then add a little bit of color then start understanding what will you leave the audience with i keep telling people that kahani mein feelings kya aari hai bahut zaruri hai rajkumar hirani said main har scene ko kaat deta hu agar us pe aami has nahi raha hota hai ro nahi raha hota i do believe that you need scenes in between to create a little bit of a pause but that too is a great belief he believes that you are indulging in feelings when a story is being told so to to take a good story from a bad story you must simply at the end of the story ask the person who was hearing it did it leave you with something if it didn't leave you with anything it's an incident it's a chhota sa kuch ho gaya kahani nahi hai kahani kis tarike se aapko change kar deti hai kahani kis tarike se aap sochte hain yaar agar ye mere sath hota to kya hota you put yourself into the other person's shoes ernest hemingway was once asked in a bar you write such long stories choti kahani suna do so sir i can tell you a story in just six words and he took a napkin and he wrote on the napkin just six words which is said for sale baby shoes never won right now this is a legend in six words he makes you think saying for sale baby shoes never won what was it was it did the child die did the couple divorce did they lose the child due to a miscarriage did they have no money did they have to give the child for adoption look at the number of things you can think but the feeling will never leave you right so that's the reason for great storytelling and i think in today's day and age why is first person storytelling the kind of storytelling we do at commune that we encourage people to do that i teach to people everywhere across the world is simply because in a world that is so filtered right on instagram we put up our filtered stories on facebook we put the best moments of our life on twitter we always ranting right on snapchat also you're trying to use all these filters and things tiktok wagera zindagi sirf entertainment hi nahi hai zindagi understanding hai zindagi empathy hai zindagi indulgence hai lekin kahin na kahin par there is a deep understanding that needs to happen and authentic storytelling brings out that side of you that no one knows which says you are flawsome you are flawed but you're awesome aap ek ho right you are one unique person you have your flaws i have my flaws 
my stories that work with people are the stories that talk of my flaws when i tell people about that one day when i went to host a show and i thought i'm landing in a swanky hotel and instead was doing a show in a field people laugh because they say dekho is bade aadmi ka bhi ek din tha jab ye chhota usne feel kara jaise main shayad feel karta hu when i talk about my mother's hospitalization everybody has this thing of saying oh my god even he's been through a personal crisis where he felt that he's helpless when i tell my radio story about somebody saying you're a liar i try to tell people that yes sometimes as creators and presenters we get carried away with our own god like image i used to think i was god when i was on air and suddenly somebody told me no you're human and you lie and these are the stories that work best because they are honest i think first person storytelling is creating a movement and it's not something i have started it's been there since time immemorial i have to doff my hat to the moth which is the best organization in the world which has been doing storytelling to this american life on npr if you listen to good podcasts to invisibilia to radiotopia these are some shows that i follow religiously because in me jo kahani ka kehne ka tarika hai wo alag hai i also uh, look at all the people from 2015 who have come to commune and who have enriched my life because 2015 mein na main 12 to 15 after my film i was going through this crisis of confidence right एज अ क्रिएटर जब कुछ नहीं वर्क करता आपको लगता है मेरी क्रिएटिविटी खत्म हो गई आई नो नथिंग आई एम एन इडियट आई एम अ फूल आई वेंट थ्रू दैट फेज बट पीपल केम टू मी एंड दोज पीपल बिकेम माई शेयरिंग सपोर्ट सर्कल एंड कॉम्यून इज गोइंग टू बी दैट सपोर्ट सर्कल फॉर एवरी क्रिएटर वेन पीपल आस्क मी वट डज कॉम्यून डू आई टेल दम वी जस्ट ट्राई टू मेक एवरी क्रिएटर be their best version to create a better world that's it we will empower you in any way to main actor banna hai hum koi rasta dhoondenge to main podcasting karni hai hum workshop karenge to main kahani batani hai we will figure that out your story is great and it is a film in it we'll try to connect you with netflix we will do whatever we can because i believe today my life has really come full circle in one part and today i am a bridge which connects people to possibilities and that's what i do and usi mein zindagi guzar jayegi acha rahega mention some amazing qualities of a storyteller which are on full display on these youtube videos which i encourage everyone to check out the blanket which is about your mother's hospitalization uh, hospitalization and about do it yourself home and also the one you spoke about the radio for all of you who sleep tonight which was by far the most powerful one i thought i did it i did it yesterday uh, impromptu and i can't tell you that i i had the same response in dubai everybody people people from different nationalities you know a a, a girl who's a palestinian and egyptian an american everybody a scottish lady everybody everybody uh turned to me and said that you know we could relate and that's yeah. the point great stories just transcend any boundaries mm-hmm.